Do you want to be so rich that every time you fart, a gold nugget comes out? <laughs> Are you the type that likes to make things less complicated? Are you into digging? If so, let me introduce you to a very efficient farm that will produce foods and riches for generations to come by using frog and bunny man. First, we find the area that have several frog ponds, then build some bunny hutch around the ponds. Make a small cage to place a bait for these sadistic vegans to keep them outside in the daytime. The frog that spawn from the pond will attack the bunny man when they jump near the bunny man. Both frog and bunny man have a herd mentality. A single lick from the frog will start a war between these two species, which usually won by the bunny man. In this example of 13 ponds around 12 bunny hutch, we can get around 30 frog legs daily and around 40 frog legs during summer when the daytime is longer. This is a fast way to get eggs, which then can be converted to gold and then transmitted to nitre by Wilson, making gunpowder so easy to gather. But wait, it's not only frog legs that we can gather from this farm. By giving a carrot to one of the bunny men, we can make them fight each other and get either meat, bunny puff or carrot, which we can use to make more bunny hutch. Yay! A befriended bunny man will not attack us when we pick up the meat, so we can pick up all those frog legs and meat after defeating other bunny men. But make sure all other bunny men are dead because a befriended bunny man will follow the aggro of other neutral bunny men that detecting meat in our inventory. This farm is not all sunshine and rainbows. We need to make sure we don't bring any meat or egg in our inventory. I had died several embarrassing deaths because I forgot A is counted as meat. Also, this farm doesn't work in winter because the ponds are freezing which means no frog coming out. But still, we can make the bunny men fight each other and get good drops from them. We can also add walls around this farm so the frogs will roam nearby the bunny men, making the fight easier to start. An example of three ponds that are paired with three bunny hutch. As we can see, the walls help to keep the frog roam nearby the bed area. In one day, we can harvest around 9 frog legs. Each frog legs give 12.5 hunger. Eating 6 cooked frog legs already can satisfy most of Don't Starve character's hunger in a day, which is minus 75 hunger per day. This means one will never be starving even in winter, as we also can get meat and carrot from provoking the bunny men to fight each other. Even if we lack of meat source, cooking frog leg with a carrot or mushroom and two twigs will result in frogger bun which that can restore 37.5 hunger and 20 health. Pretty decent meal with simple ingredient. There are two ways to harvest the frog legs. The first way is taking the bait from the cage. The bunny men will return to their home immediately because the bait that keeping them outside is gone. We take the bait after the bunny man already killed existing frogs, so there won't be any frogs chasing us when we pick up the frog legs.
The second way is to make the bunny men fight each other until only the befriended bunny men alive. Then we pick up all those frog legs and the loot from the bunny men. Bunny men respawn after one day, which is very fast compared to pig men that need 4 days to respawn. So this frog and bunny man farm will continue on the day after tomorrow. Also, an ice plingomatic and lightning rod will keep this farm safe during spring and summer. From my testing of running this farm during mid-autumn until early winter of the first year, I already can get around 120 gunpowder, which was from 360 frog legs I gathered from this farm. 120 gunpowder means 24,000 damage, which is more than enough to kill Bee Queen, Klaus, or Ancient Field Weaver. I believe this farm is very efficient because it only needs some setup and a player nearby the farm for it to operate. So players can divide the tasks between gathering food and exploring the map. We can easily cook pierogi, no need to worry about gold, easily making handbag from bunny man's loot, or even amassing nitrate and gunpowder if there is a Wilson in the server. The only downside is need to always make sure to drop all meat or egg from inventory before getting in the farm. Perhaps there will be accidental death because we forgot to drop that cobra egg that we steal. Ahem, <clears throat> I mean, borrow. Give it a try and let me know the results. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.